join Kyberry to the one month journey to solve her world. All right, now it's working. I needed to restart the stream. But looks like it's working. Working perfectly here. So, um, welcome. It's an extemporary one hour stream. Something cancelled, and I have one hour reserved for poker. So, why not put up a stream? And there's no PLO 20 running, so we are back on PLO then waiting to be seated on the tables. There, there should be a decent amount of tables. There's six tables open at PLO then. But Looks like it takes a while until we can find one. So let's wait. We have one open. So why not focus there and just wait until things start to happen. There's a one of one rate back going on on running once. It means that they give a 101% rate back for everyone. And today it's normal cash back so there's no added splash pots there's normal splash pots and then after promotion you get that 50 percent straight to your account so sort of normal rate back today and we have some problems with the raider stadium oh it's still wrong just a second i, I need to fix this one Because we, we cannot have a bad stadium behind us. For sure. So now the stadium is fixed. And I have recording on, so this will be on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know that. Um, here's another table that opened. We flop the top pair. Good keeper with the nut flush draw. And probably, call, we want this this one to call because it increases our equity. And problem is that if he pots again, he probably has an ace king type of hand. So we are drawing only for the flush draw, and we don't have enough flush outs. So we have to have to fold these. And now we have four tables open. And I'm going to sit one more table, hope to get a full table, because I don't like this shorthanded. Oh, we cut it right away. So let's sit out that one. And let's bring up a new table. So I, I hate shorthanded tables. Three way. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to play, having to focus too much on those. So I'm, I'm much more familiar and comfortable playing six max or five max. Uh, when we try, we have two backdoor flush draws. Uh, we could even raise, we block the straight draws. Uh, we could... Oh, same thing. Calling is definitely an option. This is a bit too aggressive, but we should have four equity versus over pairs. Because when we put here, we represent a set of jacks or something. So it's really hard. If, if he calls with overpair, then the plan failed. But even with overpair, we have 40 to 50% equity. <laughs> and we are blocking the jack. He shouldn't have those small pocket pairs. So it's it's a bit aggressive, but it's, it's okay. And... Brandon, with the top cap, when there's a tree bed, now this hand is a fall. Because if, if you can't call tree beds with these kind of hands, you're going to be dominated quite often. Here's a monotone flop, goes chip, chip, chip. We have the open ender and bottom bear, and then there's a half a pot stab, but no reads. Versus his, even his air, we don't have the odds, so just keep that one. <laughs>
Um, here, we've flopped pretty much nothing, but we blocked the dues. So when we bet half a pot, it's like, if he folds one third of his hands, it's profitable. So he can call with over pairs, he can call with flush draws. And that's a good card to barrel, puts a little more pressure to those over pairs. Over pair with the flush draw probably doesn't fold, but bear flush draw should fold, and bear over pair should fold. And it worked. Kaboom! That's a nice turn. I'm just going to actually put it. We have the best hand very often here, but we need protection. And five is a safe card. But if he checks, if I had a queen check, I would bet for sure. Maybe a bit too passive to check back. And he had over, it's just if he has a check seven, ace, king, kings type of hand, we could get some value from. Splash pot and Darren open pre flop. I think we can peel the turn here. Uh, five might not be an out or might, but then there's a lot of good cards. And often when we both call, then Darren should shut down. And he probably has some ace, ace, four, ace, ace, five hand. And he's not the overplays, but if we had a queen here, we stack off and get it in with nice equity. Good kings. And there's splash money in the pot, so this is this is a raise. If the sides card were worse then call is fine, but this this is too good to pass. Uh, here in the before we revert the knots. And just go big. Uh, here is an awkward spot. He bet one third on the flop, and we have over and two back doors. So I, I peeled the turn. Hope if he has two pairs, he shuts down, and we get a free river. But it's a board where he could bet small with six seven, and he checks back, which is nice. So we we get to the river for that one third price. And versus his range, we definitely had equity. Now he checks up bets, and we're going to lose the pot. Probably always, because if he doesn't have much, he's going to bet. And he pots it. And the thing is that he could still have the 6 7. Because turn is a blank rainbow, he could check back to induce a river bluff, so. I'm, I'm not going to peel that one. Uh, here we call pre-flop. 
because we have Darren who probably cost two. And then turn is turn is pretty nice. Oh hello it's happy. We we've been up only a few minutes, just started. And that's a pretty black. He didn't bluff. I'm going to bet. And he folds again. And number one, I'm barreling Dakota. He's the one who, who we double barreled on the bear board earlier. And I, I'm actually barreling the river because I think he has some um, two pair type of hands that he should fold. Oh, he had a set of things that he is low played. All right. So now we know that that he can slow play. And good evening, it's Yeppy. Can be online for an hour or so, then I have to go to sauna. Finnish, Finnish traditional place, a room that has 100 degrees. Uh, I'm actually going to call it this because now we have a hand that dominates very often. He's treatment in range. Would be nice if we had a jack high suit. And I, I think, let's see their sizings. If they both want to put the money in, we are, what well, can't afford, probably we have three overs. And let's see if we have fold equity or not. If he has aces, it sucks. Oh, he has eight, nine. Seven, seven, eight, nine. A bit loose three, but then have we stand? Well, he had a top pair and cut shot, but we had him on the flop. And he makes two pairs, we make a straight. A ching that was over 100 pp. Over 100 pp pot, so we add 50 cents to jackpot. <laughs> then we missed the flop there. Piano 20 is not running at the moment. So we play Piano 10 today. Oh, what a flop, what a flop, what a flop. But no action. Then we have hands on table two and three. Uh, table three, flop is king five three, so no action there. So let's go here. Uh, I'm going to three bet this small open. Uh, he's a short stack, but we're going to hit million flops. And if he Four bets, it's an easy call. Uh, 
and just see about flop. Uh, if he raises, we'll get it in. And now we pick up the flush draw. If Kobe is a straight, we, we see a problem because either he has a king x or under a pot size. Oh, I'm going to get it in. He will still have bare flush draws. A random king x that he would fold here. And when he's thinking, he probably just doesn't have the straight or set, and, and we have equity. But we would prefer a fold, yeah. Because probably his calling range has a lot of equity versus us. Uh, here we flop pretty nicely, but no action. And could even mean. SS Crusher. Hard to fear of the dark. Yeah, I, I've heard that one. We are close to the 100 followers. I don't actually, I forgot to check. Do we have 100 followers already? Because the counter uh, down there is not really up to date. It doesn't count when someone follows the stream when it's not online. Um, in the last stream, the tables crashed when we had the top set. And I, I have to give A plus grade to run it once support. I sent sent the ticket there or, or conducted the support about the incident and attached the screenshot of the stream. And they, they refunded me what was in the pot around 9 euros. Which is awesome. And it sounds fair, but that's the only poker room in my history of poker, which is now... Around 13 years or so that I played online. In 13 years, it's the... Running once is the only poker room that has given refunds on those kind of situations. All the other time, uh, people are just, or, or the poker rooms are just saying that it's your fault and check your connection and we cannot do anything and we apologize. Running once said that, yeah, so what happened? Here's a refund. Uh, Overpair flash to versus aggressive player, let's get it in. Even versus set, we have a lot of outs. And he has the set. How can he have? And we don't hold up. But he's aggressive. He Lose aggressive layer, so. His range is definitely wider than that one. Uh, here we get it in versus aggressive player and he has the flush draw and we hold up so double up there chips flying back and forth <laughs> and Chuck was going up 22.15 wasn't long ago since get out the one last time the thing is that in the history of this channel so far there's uh, three jackpots that have been given away for around 80 or 90 euros and get out has won all of those three if i remember right you, you can see it how much he has there if i remember right it was around 80 dollars or so 
Oh, oh, we have gold here, actually. We have a tight layer behind. Oh, that would have been an interesting flop for sure. Uh, here we went the back door. Second nuts. Definitely not for betting. But he didn't have the flush. <laughs> uh, his tithe is probably not bluffing us, so we bet for value. So Delante has made over 80 euros, or dollars actually, just by watching the stream. Tight player three bets, we have Rainbow Kings, easy fold. Things here. And it's kings everywhere. We have kings also here. Uh, I'm actually going to barrel. And that's that just sucks. Um, we block the king chap, but it looks like he has to do so or put things. Uh, here what happened is that uh, we see that the flop with kings on ace is 5 and he called on the turn we check and on the black turn he bet we call and a river coast check and he had just a pocket 10 so he was floating me on the flop so called with pocket 10 on ace is 5 just to float me so we know that on those boards we we check when we are happy to check call and we bet when, when we don't have much. Because the floating, floating fails if the open and second barrels. No, I don't think it increases. You cannot manipulate the counter, in my opinion. If you unfollow, it goes down. If you follow, it goes up back. So we, we you don't have to manipulate. Uh, I can check it after the stream and just change it. So it's not a problem. It's just, I don't know if we have the 100 already. Or not, but it's not a problem. I will check it after the stream if I remember. Here we have a top pair. And here we have actually top two in a four way, but I'm just going to need for pot. There's no straight possibility we block sevens and eights, it's just for protection. We have the second nuts. That's the problem. So if Darren raises, it's going to be really nasty. But we have the two pairs, so he folds, which is nice. Ish. I hear we're just the acro. We made top two on the river. Let's see if that's enough. And it is. 
And he had King ten seven seven. Oh he had King ten on the turn. Wow. It's a nice hand. Oh, this this harp music is making me sleepy. <laughs> uh, when you're watching the stream, please check how many followers. It should be visible there or above the stream. Because I uh, I don't have the stream page open, because otherwise there there might be an additional delayed sounds and it would use my CPU too much, so I, I'm not watching the stream myself, so I'm going to see it now, but if you can uh, check from the channel page how many followers, it's it's on the top top of the stream somewhere, uh, I think. Uh, Sidewayer, if he doesn't have anything, we don't get value, so it's better just to bet the flop, hope he has overbear, start to build up the pot. Because tight players don't bluff when you check back the flop. They don't raise you as a bluff. And if he has air, there's no way we can value. We could check back the flop, let him hit top pair on the turn. But I'm, I'm happy to bet the flop. First aces of today. <laughs> Do we hear a tree bet? Probably not. Uh, this donk seems weird, looks more like a flush draw. Maybe ace king with diamonds. A bit weird. And now we wonder, should we just get it in? Ah, uh, is it too blush? Oh, is it too loose? If he has two pairs, we have equity. If he has set, we're drawing really thin, but that don't was weird. Oh. Yolo. Oh, he had a set. We would have paired. Oh, he had a set and he don't. Set moved away. That's, that's weird from Acro player. All right, so we were in a really bad shape. It says he's an always aggressive player and when he decides to donk pot, it looks more like a hand that is more of a semi-bluff than value hand. If, if it was a normal, normal player or a tight player, I, I would have just folded the flop, but 98, okay, so it's it's only one behind. Two more. So if any of you, let's see if there's new names, there's some. If you haven't followed the channel, please do so. Because when we hit the 100 mark, $5 is added to the jackpot right away from my own pocket. I have it here. Five bucks. And it's easy money. So Dawson owned me. 
acting weak when being strong. Let's see what happens here with the crappy chaps. And there's a trivet from Acro. Oh man. I really want to fold this one. We have to fold so many flops and most flops we hit, he's going to pot probably always and just being aggressive. Quite close pre-flop. And we don't get a suit for this hand. That's, that was the second hand, and Acro guy gets set versus us. Here was another one, Tiffany. Who's, who's aggressive raising tree but in everything he hit the top set versus our overpair and flush draw uh, here they bought three i opened chuck 966 to steal drew's blinds and he tree bets me uh, then we can the problem hand crappy kings probably could even fold pre-flop Oh my god, I, I thought that we will hear the proper through fire and flames, the ban. This is just this is just too much. Uh, my my ears are bleeding. Top set versus Gret. And there's so many draws that we can raise here. And that's a nice turn. Set with the flush draw. Then we flop the nuts here. Really hard to find value unless someone has a chap or over pair. It looks like no one has anything. Huh. That was easy. This reminds me of those, those uh, old, old Nintendo games, Street Fighter. I have a tree with this aggressive Kelly, but we, we missed the flop horribly. So it's just gotta check forward. Then the side one, three bets. 
and crowd crawler. Good flop. Oh, that that's far from good. So that hand is over. A bit loose open, but we have three tight players on our left, so we can definitely open a bit wider. Kings. Three better than a cold call. Decent, decent. Now the standard line is to call and then if when he checks we bet the turn. As long as the ace doesn't come up. Nice. And now he shoves and he has sevens. A say seven seven. No, A say seven only. Oh, we don't have theme. We we never have a theme here. We don't have it's just uh, for for starting music. Uh, the Steven Seagulls that played the Hillbilly Thunderstruck, that Finnish band, and then the Van Canto is is my favorite. I love their version of Master of Puppets more than Metallica's. So, but it, it's not a theme. Sorry. And definitely not not eight bit. Uh, Two hundred pp. But that's fifty cents to chat. <laughs> um, <laughs> the song is like eight minutes or so. <laughs> uh, this this eight bit version is. Oh. Uh, Seven and a half minutes. Um, here, let's just bluff the tight one. We have the cut shot as a backup plan. But when he calls, I don't think he's folding the turn. And weird things happens here. Dawson check raises the flop as a brief up opener. Weird. A screen nine nine. Hit the top set. Kaboom. And let's see what happens. Maybe someone goes bananas. <laughs> I bet to protect against flush draw. Six is a bad, it completes all the straights, and now, now he probably has the straight. So it's an equity calculation. And to call 640, we need to win uh, around 26 euros. So after the call, the airport would be. 19 and he has one behind so if he has a straight we cannot call so we just have to fold but when, when he has kind of two baron flush draw he just calls and
Let's see if Dakota makes moves. I'm going to play for a while, 20 minutes or so. But, but on the other note, yeah, this, <laughs> this song was awful. <laughs> you see Flash Hype, you scare away all the viewers. <laughs> oh man, but it ended already. An interesting spot, we have the card shot. Let's see what the aggressive Kali does here. And he falls, nice. Uh, if there's a song that you hate, then just turn down the volume for a while. You don't need no sound. Pretty interesting turn. That's why you don't want to keep free cards in PLO. And this is just for protection. Uh, probably no one calls, and if they do, they have the flash draw very often. And looks like we still have the nut, so let's just put it. Queen then calls, everything else falls. And he does call, let's see what, what, what in the world he had. Did he have the queen then? No, he has set of sevens. Oh my god, he flopped the nut set. He flopped the top set and slow played. So he gave three cards for us two other and we hit it and then he almost stacked off. So that's why you don't keep three cards. If he had bet the flop, he would have won the bot. So he doesn't that cheap by checking there much. He had the set of sevens on seven two three board or what was it? And we make the top set on the third. That's why you don't slow play. Uh, here we bet the turn when he checks the flop and if he bets the river I'm going to call but he didn't then we win some double suited AC is action here
interesting flop. Dawson has been raising this kind of board, so should we just get it in versus him? Oh, I made a mistake. Um, I need out this flop and get raised and I am blocking the ace so uh, I don't have many outs. I actually have six outs for the turn. So I'm going to hit my outs one out of almost seven times only. Which means I have to fold the turn so I should have fallen to the flop raise. Now, now I paid two euros too much. So that that was that was a mistake. I shouldn't do those. Yeah. I hate the call. It, it's twenty BB mistake. So it's a big one. Shouldn't do those. Only hand that I, I really regret on this session. Three but action code caller. We are in position, so Dawson is probably stacking off very lightly, so I, I don't like it. But double suited with the nut suit really hard to fold. And then both of them insta checks. Well, we have the not flush draw, so let's put and create some fold equity. Because if either one of them had a set or a straight, they would think at least for two seconds of what to do. So when they just insta check, it narrows their range or caps their range a bit. And if they shove a straight there, then we have 35%. If, if they have a set, we have the cut shot, so we have around 40% or so. So it, it's not horrible if, if we get it in. But we win the pot without showdown. And every time when you win a big pot with ace high, you shouldn't be too mad about it. <laughs> Some aces here. Nasty flop. Um, senior race, I'm going to check in. Let's just go to showdown. Uh, here we call free flop. And we flop pretty well. So let's start to build up the pot. Uh, and we get the money in, which is nice. And he has a one outer. Now he has more, but he doesn't make it. So set versus set. Twenty three fifteen. Jackpot goes up. It just rises and rises and rises.
and level 4 just dried up. Uh. Oops, timed out. I'm going to put up a new table once we sit out here. True decides to tree bed. Almost. Could we bluff here? Uh, Ram Raymond shouldn't have a straight. 7 4, not in tree bed cold range, and we have two backdoor flush draws. So we, there's definitely reason to check back, but I think we have a good fall equity for just bluffing the flop. And if they call, then there's over half of the turns that are good for us. And we can either continue barreling or then just check back and realize the equity we have. <laughs> A oh, few more hands. Actually, my son started 10 minutes ago, so I'm not going to open new ones. So, stream is ending. This was a fast extempore. Sorry, it isn't longer. I hope to host a longer one to, tomorrow. Today, after the sauna, I, I'm going fishing. So no stream. Maybe after that, who knows how tired I am, but I, I'm going to go fishing. And uh, This is not a good flop four ways. Why is my is my chair breaking down? Uh, not a good flop to go bananas. We can bet smallish here. Just four ways. I don't think anyone is going to be raising us light. They have a six plus very often. And we can protect ourselves versus cut shots, over pairs and such. <laughs> And we could definitely have over pair with the six. <laughs> Some double paired hands with sevens. And it's only single raised bots, so we could have some ace queen chuck six type of hands. So, so let's bet half a bot. It's enough phone equity with our actual equity versus calling range that it's fine. Way better than just. just Checking and giving up on the flop. And then Dorian raises when there's two people behind. He has 7-7 seven, seven or 6. Always. And then the last hands. Short session. At least we've got some couple of interesting spots. And I think I think we made profit once again. So tenth session in a row profitable. 
and we are before the session we were 100 euros away from starting to build up the shot for piano 50. So pretty fast from piano 10 to piano 50 in 10 sessions almost. Running like a nut, racing. When, when you win every hand, every session, it's called the nut run. Courtesy of Mr. Nut Racing. Uh, that looks like it's the last hand. So let me see what the results were. Okay, 20 euros profit, something more. I'll take it. Two binds up. Let's just confirm that we're going to sit out the next one. Oh, we're waiting for BP. Okay, we were sitting out for some reason. Oh, thanks everyone. That was one hour session. Hope you enjoyed at least some. There was some pretty music. There was some horrible music. So please, flash hype. No more eight bit versions. Just people's ears are bleeding. I will see you maybe later today or tomorrow. Really hard to schedule during the summer. Because there's so many variables in my life. So please, please follow the Twitter. Or have notifications on so you know when I'm online. So you don't miss anything. You don't miss the chat. But it's 23.15 and going up on every session. I would just say thanks for this one. And I will see you later today or tomorrow. Bye bye. Please join Highbury to the one month journey to solve her world.